How's this work? You guys come with? I've got class. This one needs to wait. What did you do? They'll tell you about it when you get in there. Bro, I'm not gonna be mad. Not with me. Just please try not to. Hey, relax. I got this. A little late, Coop. Yeah, we had a flat. And I guess you had to stop off at the Asian fighter plane store. No, actually, sir, that's a that's a surveillance drone with outstanding solar cells. It's Indian. Take a seat. So, uh, we got Tom's scores back. He's gonna make an excellent farmer. Yeah, he's got a knack for it. What about college? Well, the uh, university only takes a handful. They don't really have the resources. I to... still pay my taxes. Now, where, where's that money go? There's no more armies. No, it doesn't go to the university. Look, Coop, you have to be realistic. You're ruling my son out for college now? The kid's 15. Tom's score simply isn't high enough. What's your waistline? About what, 32? I'm about 33 inseam. I'm not sure I see what you're getting at. Are you telling me it takes two numbers to measure your own ass, but only one to measure my son's future? <sighs> Come on. You're a well-educated man, Coop, and a trained pilot. And an engineer. OK, well, right now, we don't need more engineers. We didn't run out of television screens and planes. We ran out of food. The world needs farmers, good farmers like you and Tom. Uneducated farmers. We're a caretaker generation, Coop, and things are getting better. Maybe your grandkids will get to be engineers. We down here, sir? No. Miss Hanley's here to talk about Murph. Murph is a great kid. She's really bright, but she's been having a little trouble lately. She brought this in to show the other students the section on the lunar landings. Yeah, it's one of my old textbooks. She always loved the pictures. It's an old federal textbook. We've replaced them with the corrected versions. Corrected? Explaining how the Apollo missions were fake to bankrupt the Soviet Union. You don't believe we went to the moon? I believe it was a brilliant piece of propaganda that the Soviets bankrupted themselves, pouring resources into rockets and other useless machines. Useless machines? And if we don't want a repeat of the excess and wastefulness of the 20th century, then we need to teach our kids about this planet, not tales of leaving it. You know, one of those useless machines they used to make was called an MRI. And if we had any of those left, the doctors would have been able to find the cyst in my wife's brain before she died instead of afterwards. And then she'd have been the one sitting there listening to this instead of me, which had been a good thing, because she was always the, the calmer one. I'm sorry about your wife, Mr. Cooper. But Murph got into a fist fight with several of her classmates over this Apollo nonsense. So we thought it would be best to bring you in and see what ideas you might have for dealing with her behavior on the home front. Yeah, you know what? Um, there's a game tomorrow night. She's going through a bit of a baseball phase. Her favorite team's playing. There's gonna be candy and soda. I think I'll take her to that. How'd it go? I got you suspended. What? 